we got a phone call from one of my fireman buddies that uh, a house that they were doing some training at had some bees in the wall. It's going to be a mess. If you didn't get the gist of this mess in the first 10 seconds, let me just go ahead and play that again. see what I mean so here's the deal we got no power on the house we got no water the house is set to be torn down fire department's doing some different training things um, awesome great glad for them house is tore up bad uh, eat up with termites what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna get everything set up and uh, I'm gonna introduce you some bees let's go you'd be surprised I've actually cleaned up in here I'll put this up in case somebody tried to come sneak up on me that's my yappy barrier. Oh, oh, ah, yeah. Ooh, what is that up there? Sorry, I just had to. That's where our bees are at. I'm gonna have to cut this paneling because, look behind here, tongue and groove. So behind that tongue and groove is where our bees are at. I hope they don't go this way. God, I hope there's not comb going that way. The bulk of the bees are right here, but they probably, they, they've been here so long, there's a chance they could go that way. Let's just hope they go. Let's just hope they go that way. Oh, look at that. They're doing good. Hey, babies. Are you in a good mood? Are you in a good mood? Let's start pulling some of this apart and uh, let me introduce you to some bees. When we open this up, bees are going to fly. They'll be all up in here. I already got one come up through here. Now don't be mad at me. Come here. Pew. There you go. We're going to start down here, pull off a low board, and start working our way up. That way we'll know how big our hive is. This is really pretty cool. Did I happen to show you the opener on this thing? I showed you twice, I'm not gonna show you again. All right guys, you ready to meet your bees? My bees? Boom! What do you think about that? Hey girls, hey girls. Oh, they're in a good mood too. Thank you much. You see these little brown, little brown spots right here? All right, this, are, this is babies, okay? As opposed to capping off honey, this is where a queen has come in here, she's laid an egg. And there, this whole little circle right here is going to be full of these little spots. I'll give you a little thought. You see how, how much lighter colored this comb is? You see that roach right there? You see the roach? Where'd you go, roach? The lighter the comb, the newer the comb. The stuff out here on these outer edges, over in here, that would be considered their feed frames, okay? Now, when you get more to the middle, where you see this browner stuff, all right, this is where they have primarily made nothing, put nothing but babies in that. What I'm gonna do for right now is, let's see if we can just reduce the numbers of bees down a little bit. It's kind of like playing whack-a-mole with bees. Doing really good so far you see some of those little brown caps right there that's what I was talking about that was called brood okay and the bees will keep that warm and temperature regulated by keeping their bodies on it if they need to warm it up they can vibrate their muscles so you see you see they're starting to kind of cluster up some more and getting even tighter as they lose space um, told you I think that Queen I think that queen's going to be on this side of that frame. See if we see her. Where you at, girl? Where you at, mama? 
Not yet, huh? That's my queen cage. When I catch her, I'll catch her up and I'll put her in that little cage. And it helps to protect her during transport. It also helps to keep from losing her. Where'd you go at? I see it. I don't want her getting back down in there. There you go. Now see how they're starting to move around? I don't like that gap because the queen could get in that gap and we'll have to wait her out. But they know something's going on. They're down. They're trying to hide. But I wouldn't be surprised if she come walking down right in there and just said, Hey, what's up, Yappy? There. See how, see her color is different? She's gold. Okay. See, the thing is, she ain't going anywhere. We can watch her for a minute. Let's see what happens. Now hang on, I don't want you getting anywhere near that. Go back up. There you go. Go back up. So there's the queen. All right, she's gonna try to hide all up in them girls right there. Ain't that cool? You see that big dot on the back of her head? All right, it's kind of a little bit different than the rest of them. She's a little old thing. She's a little old thing. Where'd you go, mama? There she is. All right. There she is. Check it out. Check it out. I got her. Oh, got another one. So I'm gonna set her down. I'll just set her off to the side for a minute. And uh, let's finish this up. Now that I've got her, I can finish getting all these, and we'll get them up out of the window. All right. So y'all wanted to see what I do with them when I get them home. Come for them, but I'll take the queen. I'm going to put her right in there like that. And I'll put some of them in there like that. Hey, girls. Now, this is what's really neat. See some of these that are fanning? Hey, get out of my shirt. Okay. Some of them are fanning. And the air smells lemony, like a lemongrass oil. That's their smell to gather here, okay? They're gonna put that smell up in the air and the other ones are gonna come land over here and they'll figure out that this is home. This is the land that they get to forage now, out away from the city and uh, come hang out in my bee yard. Pretty cool. That's bee rescue number two already this year. We're doing pretty good. So, hope you enjoyed it. Um, man, we waiting for another great season to kick off here. Uh, this was a good starter for it, a little bit of fun. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you.